In this video, I'm going to discuss the most recent best practice guide for plantar heel pain. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. A combination of a systematic review, expert clinical reasoning and a patient viewpoint was published by Morris C. et al. in 2021. This paper should inform clinicians on the treatment of plantar heel pain. Plantar heel pain predominantly affects sedentary, middle-aged and older adults. About 4-7% to of the population suffers from it. It is characterized by pain on the heel with initial steps and pain during weight-bearing tasks, particularly after periods of rest. The core approach for plantar heel pain consists of plantar stretching, low die taping and education. At least four to six weeks are needed to evaluate the effects of these interventions before adjunctive modalities such as shockwave therapy and or orthoses are considered. Although education has never been tested in isolation for this condition, it was much appreciated by patients and recommended by experts. Therefore, it's recommended as a first line intervention. Not different from the rest, education should be tailored to the individual. A key issue that could be discussed, for example, is load management. Breaking up long periods of standing and or reducing stretch-related dynamic loading, such as running, could help your patient. Other educational topics are explaining pain and setting realistic expectations for recovery, which could take months. Although this is a long process, prognosis is generally favorable. Information regarding footwear includes a supportive and comfortable rear foot to forefoot drop with specific advice to avoid barefoot walking or walking on a flat, unsupported footwear until symptoms resolve. Comorbidities such as a high BMI and or type 2 diabetes should be addressed. Adjunct therapies are recommended based on the strength of the quantitative evidence and expert reasoning. Radial or focused shockwave therapy should be applied if people with plantar heel pain are not deriving optimal benefit from the core approach. A final modality after unsuccessful shockwave therapy might be custom orthoses and or return to the core approach. Finally, interventions without proven efficacy such as injection therapy are discouraged. So this was actually a pretty interesting study design. This research team combined a systematic review with only high quality trials together with expert clinical reasoning and a patient voice to produce this best practice guide for us clinicians. I know what most of you are thinking right now. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here. What about exercise? It appears that our most beloved intervention is not supported by high quality trials. This too does not escape the phrase, more research is needed. Thanks a lot for watching this short video on the management of plantar heel pain. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these shorter videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you leave. I am Max for Physio Tutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.